In this page flight tutorial, I will show you how to create a responsive table just like this with mobile responsive. So if you see, this is the look of it, a check mark, then a, an image, then a paragraph or heading, and then another image. And it is also mobile responsive if you see. So how we can make this in page flight? So I am in a page flight editor, so you have to know how to use page flight. If not, then check my beginner tutorial. So I am in one of my templates. So this is a Blimi template. If you already know this and you want to get the ready-made page play templates, then you can purchase it. The link will be given in the description. Just get there and get it with just one click. So now let's begin with today's tutorial. So if you see, I already tried it. But a issue here is whatever I tried, as you can see, when the text get larger, as you can see, the alignment is not proper. As you can see, this check mark is here, this check mark is here, this check mark is here. So how we can make it responsive? So let's see. Now let's make something similar to this. I am not uh, interested in doing those things because this can be easily done. Not this as well. I am just focusing on the table itself. So let's take uh, one column here. Okay. Let's take one column here. Then under the column, I will just... Uh, inside a heading just in the top so responsive table so just give this heading a name for example responsive table so this is it now let's focus on creating this table so for that i will what i will do i'll click on add element go to layout click on block and drag a block under this table so many people must be thinking why block let's take three column and do it but the taking column will be an issue making it mobile responsive okay so block is the perfect option for that so i will explain why so give some padding to block okay and one thing to do go to the bottom of the styling and you will find an option called css code give width here width width give width 100 percent just like that with a colon semicolon okay if this is not correct then will not work then click on add element then go to layout again and drag another block inside that block okay now you can see a block inside a block previously you take a block now there is another block in that block we will add an image you can upload your own icon anything here okay i'll just copy that one because it is already there inside that block fantastic so next thing i will do I will duplicate this block, the block that you have added under the block. So I will duplicate it and then I will delete that image and I will insert a paragraph inside that block. So if you already, you can drag a paragraph inside that block, this block I am talking about. Okay. Now another block, another block in the top of that block, it was a image in the bottom of that block. It is a paragraph. Now duplicate the top block, the image block again and drag it under the bottom one okay so it should not be inside this block so if it is in the inside the image block this will not work so i will delete that okay i will delete that and i will delete that and i will then just re i will just re reshift it just like that so every element inside a different block as you can see three of the elements inside a different block 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 this paragraph under a block this image under a block and this block have a parent block this containing the whole of them so if you remaining if you remember we have given the original block 100 percent width okay now let's come to that original block and go to display flex okay that is the matter now come to this image click on block from the image go to block that means the ch children block this is the parent block and then this is the block children block under that block there is an image i will go to the same block go to the code and give this give this check this 15 percent okay 15 percent go to the next image the right image go to that block and scroll down copy paste 15 percent go to the paragraph and from the top bar go to block and put 100 percent so keep with me you will find that this is very interesting okay 100 percent now let's um, click on this click on this image then make it in the center click on this image make it in the center 
and also this paragraph make it in the center it is already in the center so if you go to the original block of it uh, as we already made it display flex you can make it justify content align item center but it is not centering so i just need to click on this block and then click on flex and justify content center align item center okay so same code will be will be applicable for the icons as well so click on this block and paste this code that means display blocks align item center justify content center this is already in the center but just uh, to reissue things align justify content center align item center so you can see this how it is looking so you may think okay this is very far from that we want it to be more closer we may want it to be here so how we can do that it is possible but for that we need to change the width so if you remember this block has given okay no okay the, the, there is an issue so this block given 15 percent this block given 15 percent so 30 percent gone so this block has to be 70 percent okay if i go to this block it should be not 100 percent it should be 70 percent just like this okay now you can see it 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 moved little bit in the middle so if you want uh, this to be little bit smaller you just give it 60 you just give it 60 percent and this icon 20 percent okay now if you see the block if you go to the block and we can just give a border bottom so go to border and then remove the border from top let's make it zero first and make this happen okay so now there is a border you can change the color now if you go to the mobile of that how it looks so let's see so you can see it is already responsive so the issue that happens in the bottom table that i made if the content is larger then the icon alignment goes missing okay with the display flex i made it but if for this table it will not happen so let me copy this text and then we need to go to the parent block of it and duplicate it okay and now let me put the text here and let's and look the icon is still the alignment of the icon is still perfect now you can duplicate it the parent block as many times as you want and then this will be it and this how you can make this responsive but for some reason if you think this is pretty large we need to move the icons a little bit further then the issue will be go to that block and let's make it 50 percent okay let's instead of 50 percent let's make it 50 percent then let's make this block 25 25 so 100 we are dividing the 100 okay because the original block was 100 percent so 50 gone 25 25 will make another 50 okay now let's give now you can see the icon moves little bit here but if this cause the issue in mobile then we just need to decrease the width in mobile only so how we will make it 15 and also we will make it 15 okay and then we will make this one 15 and 15 is 30 then 60 percent remain so we'll make this 60 percent we'll make the width 60 percent okay uh no 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 15 15 70 with 70 percent so 15 30 gone and 70 percent remain so we'll make this 70 percent now you can see the alignment is perfect so if you think it requires some editing in mobile only then we can also manipulate this uh, okay but uh, as you can see let's just delete the the below ones or oh, not not this mm, let's delete the below ones so below ones and let's duplicate this one okay this 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 icons that is perfect 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 now you can change whatever text and it will be mobile responsive so this is how you can make things mobile responsive for a comparison table i hope you enjoyed the video if so do smash that like button subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comment as well if you want to make me a more specific tutorial so thanks for watching the video